guys just landed in Islamabad and luckily our driver is here from the hotel oh my goodness coming out it was so packed like so many people and I was like if the driver is not here I don't know what's gonna happen but we are here um, didn't start right so went through fine through immigration but we were stopped probably three times um, they wanted to see our passport um, even though it's within like the distance and um, I obviously traveling with Jackie who is um, that color like me black like me and I think I said to her they think we're traveling on African passports and the last guy was like why are you here like with so much attitude why are you in Pakistan I wanted to say as if you know but we had to be very professional and yeah the driver was outside so we're on our way now to the hotel and the weather is looking quite nice so it's quite busy and it's so early in the morning about eight now just landed so we'll just make our way now and see what's what <laughs> woken up from a nap um, to two hours sleep so you can see my eyes are still a bit red but it's such a beautiful day that we want to go outside we're gonna get ready for the day and then we're gonna go outside and uh, go explore and just find out about a few things that we want to do um, so that we don't waste the day because it's such a nice day that we arrive like early in the morning and I think they checked we managed to check in around 10 did have to wait an hour because the room wasn't ready and then we checked in 
and then we just decided okay we're just gonna take a nap or two because my goodness our eyes were really 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 sore um because obviously we've been traveling since um yesterday so we haven't slept for like 24 hours so that's the plan now guys um yeah get ready and um yeah get ready for the day and then uh, I think there might be a wedding or something down there this food. <laughs> so we're gonna go see if we can invite ourselves. I'm sure they're not gonna throw us out. Um, so, yes. Let me get ready. Um, and this beautiful big bathroom, it's quite big. I you can see, big, 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 big. And um, yeah, that's the plan. So I'll speak to you guys once I'm ready. Let me get ready. I thought I'll quickly show you guys a quick room tour before we mess it all up. It's already a mess anyway, and we've been here, what, a few hours. Um, we're staying at the Marriott in Islamabad. Um, everyone knows Marriott. It's just you, you know what you're getting, so we didn't want to risk it and book with either hotels that don't exist because that happened a lot online where they advertise certain hotels. I, I saw a few which... When I read reviews, people were saying, actually, it's not what you think it is. So we thought to be on a safe side, we'll just stay at the Marriott. So let me quickly show you guys a quick room tour. This is the bathroom over there. Entrance to the door over here. And I'm doing a bit of ironing anyway, because I don't know if you can see clearly. It's dark in here. I haven't got light. They've attached the, um, the iron to the wall. It's quite dark, you can't see, oh, there you go. So I don't know if it's for people so they don't steal it, I don't know. And um, at least the cord is long enough anyway to do a little bit of a few ironing there. So that's the door as you come in and there's some wardrobes there and some the basic safe mm. and other stuff you will find in a hotel. And this is um, in this corner as you come in, it's where you can leave your suitcase and this is the main entrance to the hotel. This is the overview of the room. So it's just a basic, basic um, sort of like Marriott's room. We've gone with two um, beds, standard. And yeah, and then as you come here, this is the part I'm gonna enjoy where, where you can sit and read and you've got your amenities there, tea and coffee station and a bigger i suppose kind of like office if you want to do your work and a telly on the wall and there's the bathroom there i can't show you there because jackie is in the um bathroom let's take you to our view they've moved us to a different room we had a mountain view but they moved us so now as you can see guys there's some stuff going on down there i don't know if you can see properly but there's food and tent and looks like somebody's cooking so we've got a view of the trees and a little bit of um i can't even see this properly because i think it's how the sun is shining but i will take you outside once we are ready so that's the sort of like the view of the room of a view of the room um it's the beds are quite comfortable so yeah it looks like it's a nice day outside we're gonna go start our day i don't even know what time it is actually i'm assuming it's around two o'clock i think because we had set the alarm um for two o'clock local time i think we went to sleep at about 11 just to rest our eyes which was a good call because we feel a little bit better so let me get ready and then i'll take you guys downstairs see what's happening what's happening kind of looking like a normal person now all refreshed um We've just got downstairs to, um, I think you need like a permission for, um, to be able to drink alcohol at the bar, but it's not local time, it's three o'clock and the bar doesn't open until five. So we're just gonna potter around, walk around the hotel and see what's what. Um, but I need a glass of something, something. So is Mama Jackie. She needs something like, she's like, I can't wait until 5 o'clock. 
remember um, when we were at the airport, we thought of buying something, but then we thought, oh, they might like confiscate it. But it was fine when we got through. Nobody asked anything about anything. We should have bought something at the airport and have it for our room. Oh, but learned. Um, <laughs> I think it's safe as a mister on their thing. That's me. She's Mrs. How old she is that? Right. Nationality. She's British. British. It's not Ireland. I that. Passport. This time, while we're waiting for the spot club to open, this card here is like um, a permission card. So it's got your room number and how long you're staying in the hotel. And you can have alcohol from 5 p.m. So we've ordered a little bite to eat, which we are having. I'm having a strawberry juice, and Jackie is having an orange juice. And once we've eaten, hopefully it will be five o'clock, and then we can go to the bar. Um, so we we're, we're on the other side. Mm. That's private party. You can't just go to somebody's party. They'll throw you out. Like. Jackie wanted us. There's like I think either it's a wedding or some company party. I think some tobacco um, company that's having a party. Jackie wanted us to go gate, gate crush the party. So um, yeah. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, if you are coming to um, Pakistan because it is a Muslim country, so depending on where you stay our hotel does have a bar but it doesn't open until like five o'clock so um it's just a waiting game we just produce and um so hopefully there's gonna be a selection there like your wine your champagne not just it says sports club so i'm hoping it's not just beer so yeah do bear that in mind if you are coming to Pakistan that it is a Muslim country and there's not a lot of alcohol going about so if you like your alcohol either make some means like our bags were not searched at the airport if we've known would have bought something at the airport maybe but you know it's a gamble you do it and if they catch you they will take the alcohol away so we just gonna be chilled out day today and we've made plans for tomorrow um, so I might not record anything until tomorrow then um, when we start our day try and get some good sleep we're not gonna drink too much today so we can get up tomorrow and be sober Jackie's laughing because she's like I'm ready for my bottle of wine I'll be down and yet like there's no tomorrow anyway yeah that's the quick update a very good morning, day two in Pakistan and um, just had breakfast, it's actually cold, it feels colder today, um, so waiting for the driver now, for the driver for the day. That's pretty, I think I saw that yesterday, it's really nicely done isn't it? Yeah. Um, I'm on my way to um, Embassy of Afghanistan, so I'm hoping I'm gonna get my visa or oh, they're gonna issue me with the visa and yeah which I'm gonna use in April we're just outside the old um, embassy of um, Afghanistan and the driver is asking where they've moved to bear in mind I don't have an appointment so I'm just gonna rock up hopefully <laughs> They'll be able to see me if they say um, I have to book an appointment then I will do so but I very much doubt a lot of people are rushing to go to Afghanistan so hopefully it's all gonna go okay got the new address yes, yes. amazing when did they move yeah, this will how, how is the, you're repeating yes. ah yeah. okay all right so would they be coming back here then after they yes. repaired it oh yeah. I see okay Alright, yeah, it looked like they're doing the repairs. So, um, we now off to the new address. Um, yeah, he's got the address, so fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Right, um, I've been given forms to fill out now, which I'm gonna do now. 
um, and then hopefully take them back. But, oh, I've got it. Needed a pen. I thought I lost a pen, but I do have a pen. So I'm going to fill up the form now and then take it back and then fingers crossed. Right, um, just finished at the um, Afghanistan Embassy and I waited my lord. Um, so I have to go back on Friday, which is the day after tomorrow, um, to collect the visa. Um, they didn't give me anything like a form and he just said just rock up really at, um, at 3 p.m. to pick it up. So we're just looking around now. Um, I think it's like a jewelry market or something and then we're gonna be heading back to the hotel I need to go take a nap <laughs> really um, and then hopefully when I wake up after the nap then we can go on like a, a city tour um, of Islamabad and then um, and then from there then just to check the city out and see what's what. I still need a bathroom right now. I need to wee. Happy Valentine's Day, people. <laughs> We're still on Valentine's Day. It's later on, three in the afternoon. And we've just left the hotel with the driver. We're going sightseeing. Um, I think we're going to do quite a few um, tourist attractions places before oh, sun before stopping over at the famous what is that place called? Um, the boss. No, the where the restaurant is at the top. Oh it's the mountain. Oh. Right, you know where the let me ask him. You know where the restaurant is? What what's it called? No just um, no Oh. In normal time, well, the, no very cool. There's not a name for the restaurant. Huh? It's on the paper. If you pass yeah. me the paper, I'll be able yeah. to see. Oh. A restaurant at the a dinner time? Monal. Monal. Monal restaurant. Monal. That's what we've been looking for. So, um, no. yeah, and I'm going to stop over at the Monal restaurant, which is supposed to be a famous. Um, hey, you go to first to the restaurant, then another side. No, we're doing restaurant last. They last said. A restaurant is last. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what they said. Yeah. We just wanted the name yes, of the, the name. place, what it's called. Yeah. Okay. You start at this area, the VVIP area. Yeah. This is the our left side is the big building. This is the all ministry. Big ministry. ministry. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Like government. Yeah. The ah, government. Okay. This area is the uh, official building and the government building. Oh, okay. This is the ministry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> selling different things and um, like mini markets basically so we're just looking around and seeing what's around <laughs> Um, there's loads of families around, children around, so I'm not going to be 
um, shooting um, a lot of content around here because I'm mindful of the children. Um, but we are now walking towards um, a beautiful lake, which hopefully once I'm in front of the lake, I can actually just show you guys what it looks like. But because, as I've said, there's loads of um, kids, um, I'm mindful of how I'm pointing my camera the angles but it's such stunning and it, there's a zoo there's like stalls food stalls and it's just one of those places that you can just bring your family for a walk so they, they are there is a lot of um, families around and it's, it's just stunning absolutely stunning and it feels very peaceful as well so yeah if you are in Pakistan or you're coming this way make sure to check it out it's, it's so beautiful and it's a good thing that we chose the afternoon because it's there's a bit of a breeze it's cooled down it's not too hot there's still a bit of sun but it's not too hot at the same time <laughs> again full of children families and it's breathtaking breathtaking I would like to go and see what's up there because I don't eat lots. So I'm going to Brilliant. We had a good day yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Really did. Um, where are we going? Peshwa? Pe Peshwa today? Is it Peshwa? Yeah, yeah, that's where we're going today. Yeah. Yeah. Doing that today and then we're going up to the restaurant. Yeah, Munal. Munal. That's, it. that's, that's on Munal. Friday. That's tomorrow. After oh. the embassy. Oh, I yeah, so it was today, today, no, today oh, we're okay. eating here. Okay. We said, and then Friday, gotta go to the embassy, Afghan embassy, and then from there we're gonna go to the restaurant. And then Saturday is it? Yes, and then Saturday is just an easy day. We've got spa booked, and yeah, we just gotta pimp ourselves. Really for me, this is the first time being here and I love it. I really do like it. And I think the longer we've gone on there over the days, it's like, oh, I don't want to get up, I want to stay here. Do you know what I mean? So, so you're a friend, right? 
Kerr from um, London, UK. UK, yeah. Yes, that's But no, I look at When you go to the shower, please try the local food over there. You will that. I said, okay. I said about local food, so. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a nice driver, so hopefully. What's his name? I keep forgetting his name. The gentleman who's driving us. Is it hot? Because I like hot food. Like, yeah? Like spicy? Yes. Because yesterday we ate at the Italian. I was like, can I have chili in my pasta? They were like, we Italians. I was like, I'm going to go find chili. They did bring me chili though. They were like, yeah, we're going to find chili. We have higher spice level. Yeah. You see the spice level? Cheese at Venom Not too hot. Not I'll too try hot. it, but I know that my mouth is burning. Yeah. So I was like, oh. Really, really good to see you. Yeah. It's and nice that. to see you all. Yeah. It's like coming from home to home. Exactly. Yeah. Very much. You have a safe feeling here, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is some right good thing. I think you are uploading. Yeah. Is it recording or not? Yeah, it is. It is, is right? yeah. <laughs> and I'll tell you, yesterday when we were there, and we went to the, mo the mo monument. Went to the monument. Oh, yeah. Exactly. We yeah. went to the. What's the mosque? The, the mosque. Yeah. mosque. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we went she there. was like a celebrity. Everybody kept stopping, please take my picture. Yeah. <laughs> Men, women, girls. What? To me, <laughs> what do you want my picture so this from? This is actually, you know, actually, I'll tell you one thing. So we are Pakistani, right? Yeah. Pakistani people know what is hospitality, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Loving the when people visit, you know, they love. Okay. Yeah, they give you something like that. They take pictures. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Show respect. Is it? Would the people take the selfie with you? Perfect. Right? Yeah. yeah. They would all. Because man, man, man. They, they think like you are from other country, right? They are happy. They say welcome. They take picture with you, and they will show the picture. Oh, what can we have? The, you know, the best enough. Yeah, uh, yes, please. Right? Thank okay. you. Because I didn't know. Like, I, I kept saying to her, they're going to say, we saw Oprah. <laughs> you know Oprah Winfrey on Tandy. Like, they'll be like, oh, they think it's Oprah's sister. <laughs> no, it's been lovely. It's been lovely. So, I think you will go by yourself, right? Yeah, of course. Thank you very much. Yeah, we've just had, um, I think it's like a manager for food and beverage or something. Just having a chat with us. Um, yeah, we're on day three and we are having a quick breakfast. I've just ordered an omelette and some uh, extras in it to fill up my belly. And um, we are going to Peshawar today. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, which is I think two hours. Maybe an hour and a bit and an hour bit coming back. So just over two hours the whole journey outside of Islamabad. Um, we've been using the same driver, so we've requested the same driver. Um, it's the third day now he's going to be taking us out. And honestly, I've always heard that people in Pakistan are very hospitable and to have to experience it, uh, it's just been amazing. So. I'm hoping today we can sort of like try local foods, like what you call street food, and just see more of the, thank you, and just see more of the um, local. Good morning, how are you? Good, good, good. Yeah. Food, yeah. Everything is fine. Yeah, everything's fine. Yeah, you they bring it. And they're going to bring me breakfast of order, so it's coming. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Please enjoy your big Thank you very thank much. You thank you. Um, yeah, so. Ah, that was another manager, I suppose. And um, yeah, where was I? Um, yeah, we're gonna hopefully try street food. What do you consider street food? Um, I've got a list of few things that are typical Pakistan that I wanna try. But also um, some. I wish I could like. I'm looking forward for, I think it's fresh pomegranates that they have, like they out here, out of the hotel, so, which was a shame. So I'm hoping, um, 
you know, we're gonna try it today and see what's what. But honestly, so far so good. It's been absolutely, absolutely amazing. And I've never felt this welcome in a country. I was worried before coming because I didn't know what to expect, but it's been so amazing, absolutely amazing. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly have breakfast now. And hopefully we could be on the road in an hour or so. Freshly squeezed orange juice. Oh. actually reach Afghanistan so I haven't got my passports at the moment and we have no reason really to go beyond that yeah so we're gonna drive back to the hotel and hopefully stop somewhere for food this part of um, Pakistan is actually um, different than Islamabad they've got an old feel um, it's 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 busy it's it's bustling it's everybody hustling for themselves too many tuk-tuks too many bikes and cars there's no sense of direction but i love it i love it it i feel comfortable it's something i've seen before and it's just the weather is fantastic as well and yeah it's i mean we've stayed in the car obviously like during the tour around um so this is the first time that we've actually come out of the car and as i'm doing like this video there's so many stairs because there's not a lot of women out they are like I, I counted a handful number but you know obviously a woman you're black you're in pakistan it's more of like interesting stairs than like what are you doing here so and obviously the language barrier and um, some of the people um, don't speak english so if you don't know what to say to somebody and you know they don't speak your language obviously the one thing you're going to do is you're just going to stare and yeah lots of smiles and you know little children and it's just the driving that makes me laugh okay no there was a car that was almost uh, overtaking but it was overtaking on the wrong side and i'm like well just you know everyone's going direction but anyway yeah it's been lovely so that's taken us about an hour and a half i think almost two hours so we've got about another two hour journey because of the traffic as well so i'll probably um take a few bits and bobs of the content because i'm mindful there's loads of children around and again i don't want people's children um on unnecessarily so if i can avoid it i am going to avoid it um, but yeah it's just all been about taking it all in and and just enjoying the experience as we go along so yeah speak to you guys in a bit
just ordered food and uh, a tired, long day. Um, you know, it's it's such a pity and it's such a shame that I um, am here and we're only here for a week because now I understand why some people that have come to Pakistan have come here like two weeks, three weeks. Um, it's a big country, it's a big area to cover and I just feel like I should have changed myself so, um, in terms of not seeing enough but anyway um, it's done. So tomorrow I need to go to the embassy to pick up my um, passport. Hopefully I've got my visa for the next destination, I said to come back tomorrow. And then later on we'll be going to the um, Munal restaurant, which we meant to go the other day, but it, it just got too dark and we're like, we've been like sightseeing all day. We're just ready to go back to the hotel and shower and go to bed. So we'll have dinner out tomorrow. And I was hoping to have a massage today because my shoulders and my back is killing me after being in the car all day. But they fully booked, so we've managed to book ourselves for Saturday for a facial and a massage. So I'm gonna wait for my food to come now. I'm gonna eat, then I will have a quick shower, and then PJs and a book. Try and be in bed early because. Um, it's another busy day tomorrow and every time I get a wake-up call from the receptionist it's like oh my god so hopefully and I can read a bit more because I haven't read too much I've got Jackie who's busy, busy yapping every night when I'm trying to read so today I'm gonna tell her to zip it so I can read and enjoy my book and not go to bed late so I will probably carry um sorry i'll probably pick up the camera back tomorrow when um we are on day four i think tomorrow so um speak to you guys then day four um we've had a late breakfast today because our day doesn't start until two o'clock so i'm just gonna go meet with the pr lady for marriott hotel they've just got in touch through my Instagram because I posted a story so we're gonna have a little meeting see what we can do while I'm here and um, after that I am going to pick up my visa so hopefully it's been granted and I can have my passport back as well because that has been what's stressful for me if um, I'm gonna get the visa or not so uh, just hold on a second guys good yes 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 um, I'm going to two o'clock. I think he's no, coming. Your good name. Good name. Name. Your name. Oh, your my name. Nonto. Non. Nonto. N O N T O. Yeah. Nonto. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm just praying now that I'm gonna get my um, pick up my visa. I don't know if they're gonna give me. Do you think they'll give it to me? My visa. Uh, yeah. You go now. No, two o'clock. They said must come. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, today is Friday. Yeah. And after pray, yeah. maybe embassy is open. Ah, that's why they yeah, said in why the why afternoon. Actually, yeah, afternoon. That's why twelve to uh, one thirty. Yeah. Is the they close. Time. The oh, prayer okay. time. Yeah. It's today is big pray. Ah. Friday. Because when he said to me, "Come back Friday," I was like, and they said, three p.m. and I'm like, why three p.m. and I'm thinking. But I didn't think of anything because I could have gone yeah, in the this morning. Is a, but actually, the every Islamabad, every office, the tram, bank, everything. This is the today Friday. Right? Oh, okay. Friday yeah. and the Friday tram one to yeah. three o'clock. Different timing in the mosque. Ah, I see. Okay, yeah. no, understandable. So we'll see the driver then at two. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So I'm um, sorry about that, guys. It's um, gentleman I'm speaking to. He's the head of um, transportation, I think. So he's been organizing our transport and stuff. So yeah, I was still telling you guys about the, um, the yeah, she said she'll come and meet the PR lady to have a chat. And she was like, do you want to do a collaboration? I was like, oh, okay, why not? 
so she's gonna come find me here that's why I'm covered today because I'm going to the embassy to go pick up my visa so happy days happy days it's such a lovely day it's not too hot um, but I think it might be about 20 25 yeah about 25 later meeting went well with the PR or social media team I'm assuming they are um, so we're gonna be doing some content or collaboration um, tomorrow a few things they want to get done and I kind of like put spin some few of my ideas that I've got so we're just gonna cook the whole thing tomorrow which is perfect because tomorrow is our last day and we didn't have anything planned anyway besides the spa so right now I am we just arrived I think at the Afghanistan embassy or we near the Afghanistan embassy I'm here to pick up my video pick up my video pick up my passport so hopefully it'll have my visa in the cross um, a little bit nervous but it will be what it will be I've done my part that I needed to do submitted what they asked me to submit and then it's up to them um, now to see if they offer this video or not it is all done got my visa um, three months one they've given it to me so Ah, I'm still buzzing guys um, yeah we are on our way now to um, Monal the restaurant um, up, uh, apparently it's got stunning views so I'm gonna go celebrate with a cup of tea and well kind of champagne so <laughs> so it's gonna have to be um, a Pakistani tea or English tea to just say cheers to you know um, getting the visa and yeah I'm just I mean the main big chunk of this trip really was to actually um, go to um, make sure that I get the visa for um, Afghanistan which I've achieved which is good so they've issued the visa um, I think from today's day which is the 16th of February and valid up until the 15th of may so that's like three months scope so i'm going in between sometime in april um so that's good that's good and i said to the gentleman when he handed me my passport, he's like oh just check if everything is okay you know and i was like you've just made my day so he was like really i was like yeah i'm buzzing so um yeah and um let's go see what uh, Manal restaurant has to offer. Um, views are stunning, absolutely stunning. But it kind of looks a little bit cloudy. I don't know if it's because the um, buildings there's like loads of greenery between the buildings let me quickly show you guys you see what i mean like the views are not really too clear it looks very very cloudy and i think part of it there is a bit of a fog but also part of it um it's what i'm saying like with the greenery between um the buildings so we're gonna have some quick lunch <laughs> lunch actually because it's just gone after three 
so you cannot come to Pakistani and not try Pakistan food so we've gone for a Pakistan platter which have different things I'm gonna try the lassi drink and I was eyeing the food of um, there's a couple sitting across from us and it looks so nice and it looked like a platter so he just told us what it was and it's exactly what we were looking at but to see it visually then you know you know um, what are you getting so it's gonna be about half an hour it is a busy place and we're not rushing anyway from here we're going back to the hotel for some more tea um, I'll probably have drunk more tea here in Pakistan than I normally do back home <laughs> tea has replaced um, alcohol but that's fine it's a good thing anyway that I had um, this scarf on um, from the Afghan embassy because it's quite breezy up here so it's kind of keeping me warm and otherwise um, I was gonna be freezing so um, yeah um, check this place out if you ever in Pakistan it's got quite a good reputation but We'll leave that the review a mini review to um, later after we've eaten. I've tried this Kalam Jaman, I think it's called. So it's like a, a sweet treat after dinner. So it's like a fluffy donut or cake that's been dipped in like the sweet syrup it's really sweet but it is nice treat it may, it's very fluffy so um, I've tried it but I won't eat the rest because it is way too sweet good morning guys I'm still in Islamabad Pakistan and it's just about 10 in the morning um, like I told you guys yesterday I managed to book myself a gig with the PR marketing um, of the Marriott so I'm going to meet them now to start shooting um, some content and then later on I've got a spa boot so it is like a busy day in the morning and then later on then it's gonna start um, being chilled so um, and then once that's done then uh, tomorrow I think we fly back home tomorrow evening so what we'll do then is um, basically we've asked or we've requested for a late um, checkout because our flight doesn't go until like 9 p.m. at night or half past nine so what we'll do then basically is just um, have a late checkout and then from there then um, back to the airport which is such a shame because I am gonna miss um, um, this whole sort of um, visit and I'm not ready not ready to go home at all at all such a beautiful day today as well so yeah I'm gonna wait here we should be here in a minute and then we can start creating some beautiful content Last day in Pakistan. It's actually raining today, guys, and I'm so glad that we're leaving tonight because um, I think they are forecasted for a um, full week of rain and cold, and it brings cold. I'm quite shivering. So, we're just having a quick lunch now and then. is gonna take us to the airport around five and see in my eyes I did not have enough sleep I'm tired but I'm gonna sleep in a plane um, it was a good night last night went out to dinner at the um, Japanese restaurant and uh, from there we're invited somewhere very nice and drank so much whiskey so no hangover though today it's just that obviously didn't sleep at all 
So, I think this will be the end of the vlog, Pakistani vlog. Um, I'm ready to go home. I'm excited to go home. And um, I am going to do a, a part two of this vlog. I'm just basically touching on my thought on Pakistan and the reason why you should visit Pakistan or why you shouldn't visit Pakistan. So I'll see you guys on next week's vlog.